Hi, I'm Giles Potter, Managing Director of Potter Plant Hire. Today we're currently on the Carillion Morgan Sindal A1M upgrade, which runs from Leeming Bar to Barton. We're using the Trimbo grade control equipment throughout the whole job, working in partnership with the GAV, using their engineers to create the designs, transfer the designs onto the machines, and then deliver the work. We're currently running probably in the excess of 30 machine controlled machines on the job, ranging from eight ton excavators up to 40 ton excavators, dozers, D3s, up to D6s, and we're also running two graders at times. Any machines we've purchased, since the job started, we have uh, made sure whether I have a trimble ready on buying them or we have fitted equipment on them afterwards to make sure they're trimble ready and then we can add the kit as and when they're needed. So we've always a reserve of machines as and when the job requires them. Generally, the operators have embraced it very well. Initially, with a lot of operators, particularly older ones, there is a little bit of fear towards it, but on using it generally after one day they've picked the basics up. Within a very short time, the majority of them become very uh, efficient at using it. On this particular job, we've set a base station up. Well, in fact, there's two base stations set up. There's one at the south section at Leeming Bar, then at the north section, we have another one set up there, working on two different frequencies. The machines are tuned into the relevant uh, base station frequency, depending which end of the job they're working on. Carillion Morgan Sindal engineer will come out, load the design onto the CB460 screen and then uh, the operator will just choose the design he's working to that's relevant to the area he's working in and just proceed to work from there. To me, uh, the success of this job with the machine control is a, a big team effort with the collaboration of the uh, Carillion Morgan Sindel engineers creating the designs, checking the work that's coming out the uh, back end of the machines, the understanding to use the equipment from the operators and also the backup we receive from SciTech. <laughs>